In this video, we'll share the top 25 things to do in Ontario. At number one, we have the Big Nickel in Sudbury. Located at the Dynamic Earth Science Museum, the Big Nickel was built in 1964 to pay homage to Sudbury's rich mining history. This iconic Canadian roadside attraction stands as a testament to the importance of the mining industry in the region. Visitors can marvel at this gigantic replica of the Canadian nickel, while also exploring the fascinating exhibits within the museum. At number two we have Flowerpot Island. Situated in the Fathom 5 National Marine Park of Tobermory, Flowerpot Island is renowned for its unique rock pillars and caves. These natural formations attract hikers, day trippers, and boat tours, offering a glimpse into the island's geological wonders. At number three we have Ottawa Parliament Buildings. Canada's Parliament Buildings, located on Parliament Hill in Ottawa, are striking Gothic structures that have been a part of the city's skyline since 1859. Visitors can tour these national historic sites, explore the grounds, and even attend a parliament meeting. At number four, we have Diefenbunker. This underground museum, built during the Cold War, was designed as a shelter for Canada's top officials in the event of a nuclear attack. Situated outside of Ottawa, the Diefenbunker offers a glimpse into a time when the threat of nuclear war loomed large. At number five, we have Cheltenham Badlands. These unique terrains, reminiscent of the Badlands of Alberta or South Dakota, were formed due to poor environmental practices. The resulting red shale landscape offers a lunar-like vista that attracts photographers and nature enthusiasts alike. At number six, we have Niagara Falls. One of the world's most famous waterfalls, Niagara Falls is a breathtaking natural wonder. The city built around it offers numerous attractions, but the falls themselves remain the primary draw, showcasing the raw power and beauty of nature. At number seven, we have Casa Loma. Toronto's very own castle, Casa Loma, boasts hidden passageways, stables, and beautiful gardens. Constructed in 1911 by Sir Henry Pallet, this historic mansion offers a glimpse into the grandeur of early 20th century Toronto. At number eight, we have Terry Fox Memorial. Located in Thunder Bay, this memorial honors Terry Fox, a national Canadian hero who embarked on a cross-country run after losing a leg to cancer. His legacy continues with annual charity runs in his name. At number nine, we have Agawa Rocks Petroglyphs. Situated along the Trans-Canada Highway between Salt St. Marie and Thunder Bay, these ancient rock paintings were created by the Ojibwe people centuries ago. They offer a window into the region's rich indigenous history. At number 10, we have Slate Islands. Located in the heart of Lake Superior, these islands are home to a unique ecosystem of plants and animals, including a herd of woodland caribou. The islands are a haven for nature lovers and offer a serene escape from the hustle and bustle. At number 11, we have Salt St. Marie, known as the Sioux, this northern town boasts the Canadian Biplane Heritage Museum and the St. Mary's River, renowned for its fly fishing. At number 12, we have Wawa. This quaint town on Lake Superior's North Shore is home to the iconic Wawa Goose, a massive statue that has become one of North America's most photographed landmarks. At number 13, we have Pukaskwa National Park. For those seeking a hiking challenge in a remote region of Ontario, Pukaskwa National Park offers a rugged trail along the Canadian Shield shoreline and through dense boreal forests. At number 14, we have Manitoulin Island. The world's largest freshwater island boasts iconic landmarks like Bridal Veil Falls, and the Cup and Saucer Trail. The island also offers insights into the traditions of the Anishinaabe people. At number 15, we have 30,000 Islands. This vast freshwater archipelago along Lake Huron's eastern shore in Georgian Bay has inspired countless artists, including Canada's famous Group of Seven. At number 16, we have Blue Mountain Resort. While Ontario isn't renowned for skiing, Blue Mountain Resort near Collingwood offers a range of seasonal activities, from skiing and snowboarding in winter to hiking and water sports in summer. At number 17, we have Scenic Caves. Located on the Niagara Escarpment near Collingwood, these caves offer visitors a chance to explore a subterranean world and even cross Ontario's longest suspension bridge. At number 18, we have Wolf Center in Halliburton Forest. This unique attraction allows visitors to observe a pack of wild wolves from behind a protective glass barrier, ensuring minimal human contact. At number 19, we have Algonquin Provincial Park. This vast green space is perfect for camping, wildlife spotting, and outdoor adventures. Canoe trips in search of moose are particularly popular. At number 20, we have Ottawa River. 
Known for its challenging rapids, the Ottawa River attracts whitewater enthusiasts from around the globe. The river's resorts offer a range of water-based activities and relaxation. At number 21, we have Missinibe River. This historic canoe route was vital for First Nations and fur traders. Today, it offers a rugged and scenic journey for experienced paddlers. At number 22, we have St. Lawrence River. This vital waterway, which forms part of the border between Canada and the United States, boasts picturesque towns, shipwrecks, and the stunning Thousand Islands. National Park. At number 23, we have Rideau Canal. Whether frozen in winter or bustling with boats in summer, the Rideau Canal, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is a must-visit in either Ottawa or Kingston. At number 24, we have Elora Quarry. Famous for its appearances in films, the Elora Quarry is a popular spot for cliff jumping and swimming set within the scenic Elora Gorge. At number 25, we have Wasaga Beach. Just two hours north of Toronto lies the world's longest freshwater beach. Wasaga Beach offers sun, sand, and a lively boardwalk, making it a favorite summer destination. So that sums up my top 25 things to do in Ontario. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.